Happy Moon Day, the 26th of October 2020. I get asked quite a lot how we uh, report organisations, companies to what um, overseeing authority uh, office. This is the Information Commissioner's Office, Indigo, Charlie, Oscar at the top left of the screen there. So we've got uh, ICO dot org dot uk if you look for the ico dot org dot uk um, you will find this site i will put a link in in the description to this site okay for you to uh, come and frequent we're going to go after home there's a second tab here called your data matters we simply click that that loads up your data matters as it says there then we scroll down, you can have a read, be aware of everything, your rights, the rights of your data self, your person and your person's sensitive data. It's not your data. You are the data controller, the, um, you know, the, uh, the, the representative in office regarding your legal person. So your legal person's uh, data is what has been mishandled, sensitive, private data. It's not man's data. It's about a person. It's a, we're in a data world, all right, with uh, authorised and unauthorised transmissions of data. So we go here, make a complaint. Click number two. Oh, that takes you to the make a complaint page, as you can see there. And it will tell you if you need help uh, or a live chat, you can use the helpline or address those options there. You've got some lists. The first one, nuisance calls and messages, official or public information. Number two, number three, your person, your personal information concerns. That's right. So it's about your person's information. And we click that. Your personal information concerns. It says make a complaint. That is what you are doing in this instance about your person's information and the concerns about that. If you've had a problem accessing your personal information, you've had a concern about the way an organisation is handling your personal information, perhaps they hold information about you that is incorrect, they have held it for too long, or they are not keeping it secure, we may be able to help you do something about it. And you can click the next here, or you can scroll down and read what you can expect before you click next. Okay, we click the next properly and then we've got another page click three personal information concerns what is your concern about personal information is it accessing your personal information which is here option one or is it other concerns for example about the way an organization has handled your person's personal information data sensitive information okay including if the information is wrong, the organisation have lost it or shared it with somebody else. So it's generally that one. Um, you can, and there will be options for accessing your personal information, but we generally, um, more often than not, select other concerns about an organisation. And if you don't know, you can contact them on the live chat and the helpline. It's denoted there again. All right, so you can ring them up and have this open whilst you're clicking um, and they will guide you through it at the Information Commissioner's Office. They're very helpful, very polite, very courteous, very knowledgeable. I have found, we have found in our interactions so far. You've got your personal information concerns. Have you contacted the organisation in writing? Yes or no? If you click no, all right, second option, have you told the organisation you are concerned with the way it's handling your personal information? Then there's a button there called Submit. Okay, and what happens then is personal information concerns report, contact the organisation, raise your concern with the organisation handling the person or the your information, raising your concerns, your data matters, and then it says for further advice you can contact us via the live chat service and the helpline. If we go back one moment, if we select yes here now, we have contacted the organisation in writing. Um, have you told the organisation you are concerned with the way it's handling the personal information? It's listed here. 
and have you so you can put yes have you received a response in writing you can put yes because that's what happens afterwards and then you would go to submit that lodge proceed enter okay he says famously and clicking and clicking <laughs> all right then so we'll give this page a refresh here we go file uh, fill sorry in an ico complaint form here's where you can make a complaint to tell us about the organization's use of your person's or personal information um, for example if they haven't allowed you to see it or you want to complain about how they are handling or processing it we will use the information you provide us to investigate for information about what we do with personal data see our privacy notice and then you can start now to make a complaint about personal information and then you go through there about your complaint what is your complaint about accessing my personal information or is it the way an organization is handling and processing my uh, person or personal information? You give details, you put the details in that box there, as you can see, as you field, and then you've got a browse, um, a box. You can then press that button, radio button, and you get a dialog box that you can then load files up with, okay? So, supporting document type, gives you options there and then you can add more supporting evidences in this field what could the organization you're complaining about there's various fields there for you to fill in and um, the address and so forth and details and once you've done that and filled all of that in you would submit send lodge continue <laughs> that doesn't take very long that's taken me seven minutes to explain from the home button to home page should i say through your data matters and uh, you can have this playing as you uh, go to make your you know case before them all right so much love ciao for now and thank you very much any more help and assistance will come through the private and public forums information and portals of splspro.com uh, facebook and um, the private domain and through indie this channel as and when all right so this will be now posted into splspro.com the private domain and on the facebook for you to all have a look at and consider and um it's one of the most commonly asked questions and it's it takes less than 10 minutes and it can be done by anybody so um there you go all right eight minutes bosh much love ciao for now stay sovereign